VLR Vista Location Register. What is that? It's a database uh, which contains subscriber parameter and location information of all the mobile subscribers that are that's in the, the geographical location controlled by the VLR. So subscriber plus location information, right? It contains the MZ International Mobile Subscriber Identity. It, can, it, can, it contains a copy of the subscriber information from the HLR. Copy of subscriber from the HLR. It generates a temporary TIMZ for all the mobiles which are in its area locally. It also contains the location area code and it provides the necessary data when the mobile is ready to make a phone call. Isn't that awesome? Now let's look at uh, the authentication center which is right here. Alright, we don't we have not drawn the authentication center yet. We can do that right now, real quick. It's attached to the HLR. This is the authentication center, guys. <clears throat> it stores the signed response, which is used for authenticating the mobile equipment. It stores a KI, which is the subscriber authentication key. It also generates the KC, the cipher key. It provides triplets to the HLR on request, which is a random number, SRES, and KC to the HLR on request to authenticate a mobile from the net for mobile authentication from the network, right? Now let's look at our last piece of equipment, which is called the EIR. EIR. We won't need much space for that. But even though, let's see. Equipment Identity Register. It stores the International Mobile Equipment Identifier for every mobile equipment in the market. It has uh, a white list which comprises of all the good cell phones, a black list which is comprised of all the stolen ones, and a gray list which has all the ones which is on observation. There's three databases. So that's what EIR does, basically. I think that's pretty much it. I, you might have gotten a good idea of the different network elements and their functions in a 2G GSM network. Thank you.